everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today I'm going to show you how to do custom actions on Thunar File Manager. Now Thunar is the file manager that you will find with just about any of your XFCE distributions. You're, you're going to find it, uh, you know, Zubuntu, um, uh, you know, if you're using the XFCE version of Manjaro, just, you know, uh, it, it's the file manager that goes along with XFCE and while uh, let me open it up here uh, and while it's not a bad file manager um, you know it's nice and lightweight it doesn't have a lot of built-in functionality because uh, like let's uh, let me just, just uh, right click there you got cut copy move to trash and rename you know your basic functions but there's not a whole lot of other features that uh, you know a lot of us have have, have uh, come to look for um, you know one of them uh, you know at least for me is uh, open opening as root um, and then also being able to like say you've got a, uh, a file that you need to edit as root being able to automatically open that file as a root to edit it in say gedit or or mousepad or whatever you know whatever um, uh, editor you've got uh, without having to go to the terminal to do it so the nice thing about Thunar though is that you can add custom actions uh, if you just come over here to edit configure custom actions and you know, you've got a open terminal here and find this find in this folder already um, so you can see I made this edit as root um, and let me go and I'll open it up just so you can see that uh, so I'm, I made the edit as root and then there's the command there let me close that up so I made that one and let, let me, let me uh, let's let's open up something just as an example um, I don't know what we'll let, let's hear here's here we go let's just open this so you can right click now edit as root and it'll ask you for your password and click OK and it does take them and I have noticed that um, that uh, when you're opening something as root it takes it a minute um, but anyway as you can see you know it's open just like that and you know for that command you don't have to make it mouse pad let, let me go back to the um, configure custom actions see the command right here gksu and then mouse pad which is the name of the the default uh, uh, text editor in uh, in Zubuntu and then the percentage sign and then F so let's say you had uh, you had installed gedit you do the same thing here just swap out gedit or maybe you put in leaf pad or you know whatever your uh, whatever your text editor is put the name of it in there and boom you're ready to go now there's pretty big variety of custom actions you can do and probably the sky's the limit I did find and let me drag this over here um, and this here's um, and I'll throw a link up on down in the video description um, in the docs.xfce.org a whole list of custom actions and a little bit about installing them <clears throat> but you know all kinds of different things that you might want to add as a custom action they've got it all laid out for you how to do it uh, working with um, archive folders if you want to do an extract here uh, that sort of thing Play, automatically playing music files viewing images uh, open as terminal open as root um, so here's the one that I just did edit as root so uh, you know uh, like it just says right there GKSU put the name of your text editor here percentage F and that's basically it for this one. Um, I'll just kind of give you 
kind of a, a quick demo of doing of, of adding another one I'm going to add let me drag this back over I'll add a the uh, open as root which is sometimes nice if um, if you need to uh, maybe add something into the file system where you don't you know where you need root privileges um, so anyway let's go and we'll do that preferences nope that's not what I wanted edit configure custom actions we're gonna add a new one and we'll call this open as root and you could put a description in there if you want to not really necessary um, and so we're just going to do gksu thunar uh, percentage f come over here to um, uh, parents conditions <clears throat> and just deselect that and uh, you want to select directories click OK so now you can see we've also got open as root so let's close that up so now let's say that we wanted to open this boot file as the root we can just come down here to open as root ask you for your password and there we go it opens a new uh, a new uh, uh, Thunar pane or action whatever you want to call it um, and now you're in here as root very simple easy to do and like I said I'll throw the the link for this page up on the video description because there's a whole bunch of different things that you can add here that uh, you know depending on uh, on on how you work and whatnot uh, some may be more useful to you than others I mean a lot of these yeah I, I don't care about but uh, you know depending on what you need uh, there might be something here that's pretty useful to you I mean like here this one right here change um, uh, uh, openoffice.org supported formats convert to ODT uh, or export to PDF uh, you know, the export to PDF I can see that one be pretty useful well that about finishes this video up I uh, hope you enjoyed it give a big old thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe uh, there's, uh, you know, if you've got any video requests, be sure to uh, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. Uh, you know, that way I know, uh, you know, what you guys are looking for and all that kind of stuff. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next video.